me to introduce myself? Gerald Sharp. Department of Defense, ex-military. I didn't just teach interrogation and resistance. I wrote the field manual. So, <laughs> do your worst. Getting to the bottom of this may be difficult. If the Chronicoms have infiltrated, they would all look and act exactly like this. OK, but now you're just trafficking in stereotypes. Well, I mean, perhaps, but until the more diverse population goes into STEM fields, I'm afraid any one of them could easily be mistaken for a Chronicom. True, but we don't have to test if they're Chronicoms. We just have to test if they're human. All we have to do is trigger an emotional response. How many fingers am I holding up? Nope, you're wrong. You didn't give me a chance. It was two fingers. Thank you. John Wayne, a bit overrated, don't you think? I mean, you're rugged, you're on a horse. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares about John Wayne? America cares. She couldn't stay with Rick. She had to go with Victor. Haven't you ever made a sacrifice for someone you love? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How does it make you feel when I say the word moist? Moist. Please, uh, please stop. Moist. Yeah, you're good. The MPs are asking if you'd like them to hold the bus. The bus? The VIPs coming in for the Helios test? Yes, of course. I'll go clear the new arrivals. Who could be anybody from anywhere? Next. Science team arrived? This morning. I may need a moment with the contact. OK, but Sharp, the man in from DC, he's uh, already interviewing them. He is? Yeah, and they brought a shield dame along. British, pretty. She outranks us. You catch your name? Carter. Peggy Carter. You know her? You could say that. <laughs> 